Thank you, my friend. You guys, I know you're not here to see me, right? I mean, I appreciate the love, but I know you really want to see 98 Degrees, right? Uh, thank you. You know, I was working at Z100 when we played in Invisible Man for the first time back in 1997. We broke that record, and now I'm at 103.5 KTU doing mornings. Hey, bring up the guys right now, ladies and gentlemen, 98 Degrees. Nick, Drew, Justin, Jeff. Hey. How's everybody doing today? Hey. Grab a seat. Wow. All right. There it, we go. It's like old times. Oh, the good old days. Yeah. I got to be honest with you. Do you get uh, tired of people going, hey, it feels like the old times? But it does. I mean, because you took a little t little time off. Well, it, honestly, it feels like old times for us, too. I mean, we're, we're getting back together. We're singing together again. It's been 13 years. Right. Um, but honestly, it feels like no time has passed at all. You know, we're back together, singing together, having fun, making new music, getting ready to go out on tour. So it's, uh, it is just like the good old days. Yeah, you're 20 days away. 20 days Oh. Until the package tour. Thank you the for countdown. scaring us. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and I knew that from going to your website. There's a big clock countdown. Yes, the countdown. Yeah. Yeah. That's your homepage, isn't it? That's my homepage. <laughs> okay. Make it your homepage, right? 98 <laughs> Degrees, everybody. There you go. Um, so, I mean, how does it feel? You have a new album, uh, 2.0. It came out yesterday. For those that haven't heard the album, I'm hoping you've heard the album by now, right? Yeah. They got copies go. of it. Um, tell If you haven't heard the album, how would you describe the overall feel? Well, I think we got a, a lot of the classic uh, 98 Degrees sounds. We were known for our harmonies and, uh, you know, ballads. But we also have a lot of new flavor. We worked with some up-and-coming producers. Uh, we have a song that was written by Neo, a song that was written by Bruno Mars, and uh, a lot of things wow. that we've never done before. So we tried to make sure that we have some new flavor as well. And, and try, we really tried to grow as, as artists and stretch ourselves All and right. our sound. Now, Nick, how much of the writing, who, who did all the writing? I mean, everybody pitch in? or We, we actually made a, a very conscious decision before we started this process that we were not going to write any of the material on the record, just for a couple of reasons, honestly. One, we just felt like we only had a short window of time to make the record. It was going to be quicker just to take songs that were submissions and, and, and decide you know, which were the best of the best. And two, just, you know, first time getting back together after all these years, let's just take, you know, all our all our writing ego out of it. Yeah. Let's just try to make the best record possible. So we heard, I mean, when I say hundreds of songs, I'm not lying, it was hundreds of songs. And uh, it was really kind of a fun process to collectively whittle those down into you know, the strongest 15 um, and record them. Well, you're probably refreshed too. I mean, the hiatus did you some good probably, right? Drew? Oh yeah, I mean we uh, we all definitely stayed busy while we were while we were apart, and I th I think you know what we did independently it made us stronger as a group. You know we we've all gone on and done things and and matured as performers and singers and artists. Um, so now when we come back together, we're we're bringing those new unique scenarios and situations that we did independently and bringing them together and just making us stronger. Um, I honestly feel like when we sing together, we we sing with more confidence, we sound stronger, we sound, our blend is even better. Um, so honestly, I, c I can say that this really is a new and improved uh, 98 Degrees. Is there new appreciation too for like, I mean, f your fans are amazing. Um, it, it, is there a new appreciation, you were away from it for a while, yet you finally had time to relax and think about what happened. Um, is there a new appreciation for what you're going through right now? Right. The, the, the first time was a whirlwind. I mean, it was like oh, basically overnight success. I mean, we, we had been plugging away for, the, for a very short time. We put ourselves together, and then we were signed three or four months later. I mean, right. it happened right away. Had a couple singles, and boom, we were off to the races. And it was a nonstop process for five years. We were hustling, bustling, on the road, on doing stuff on the radio, on TV. And, right. and, and, it, and it was a blessing, but we didn't have a chance to take a breath. And, you know, take it in. You know what I mean? And now we, we're older, we're more mature, we know what the business is about. Like Drew said, we've all been doing things individually. And so we have a new uh, sort of perspective and respect for the, the, the blessings that are bestowed our way by this business and our opportunities. By the way, let's see how well you know yourselves. Do you know the date of your first album release? Uh, who, who, first Drew, album? Get, first album. 98 Degrees. The album and the single came out in the same day, which was weird to Did us they? at the time. It was July that? 27th, no. 19... I think it was July 27th, 1997. It was 97. It was I think oh, it was, I'm June going June. I'm going June yeah, of 97. You're, you're right. I thought it was you're June, right. too. It is no, June. actually, Jeff wins. Really? Oh, yeah. July 29th. July 29th. Oh, July 29th. Wow. That's <laughs> but the single and the that. album the same day. I right. mean, you never, exactly. you usually you give the Look give at the, the big brain on Brad over here. Well, it's called the internet, dude. I did some show prep. 
I'd love to take credit for it, but I had research. to do a little research. You know, you but, didn't just remember that. <laughs> no, no, no. But we did play Invisible Man, uh, Invisible Man, and we broke that record at Z100 uh, when you were on Motown Records. You were the first. Absolutely. Cubby was the I'm not first guy no, to no, give, give us a, a shot. Of applause, he was please, the first guy to play. Would, all right. Our Basically, we would have no career if no, not for no, Cubby. No, shut up. Blame he it on Cubby. I'm, I'm a very humble guy. It's all his fault. And it doesn't happen often. But when you're able to play a record for the first time on the radio and then it becomes a hit, it really it doesn't happen much. And it, and it feels good. You know. And y you guys are the nicest people in the business. I, I, I've dealt with a lot of people. You guys are down to earth. And when good things happen to good people... It feels good, right? Come on. It feels good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, back to the new album, 2.0. Why the album title? I know it's very cliche, the question, but can you tell me the uh, behind the title? Well, Justin actually came up with the album title, oh, so Justin. I'm going to let him explain the, the logic. Well, this is just sort of like the new and improved version of 98 Degrees. I mean, we've we've grown up more. Uh, we've had a lot of different experiences. And, and as Drew was saying earlier, uh, I, we feel like our, our vocals are stronger. Our music's, uh, you know, uh, different now. It's evolved. And, uh, you know, I, I think that's why 2.0 seemed fitting. And Mac, Mac already took 10.5.8. <laughs> so we couldn't, we couldn't really put that one out. You know? right, right, right place to say it, too. I like, yeah. I like that. <laughs> was there one, was there one um, individual in the band that spearheaded the whole let's get back together, or was it a group thing? I mean... I think everybody, you know, wanted to. When we, we never really broke up, we just took a break, right, and it yeah. happened to be longer than we expected. And everybody just had different lives and was enjoying, you know, having a f starting families and and doing different things and and pursuing other interests and and uh, doing things on their own. But I, I think we always, in the back of our minds, thought we, that we would get back together. It was just a question of how. And and I think part of the reason it took so long is. It's a big commitment because if you know, to, we have to set aside like a year, year and a half at least to, to you know, to really do it right. And and uh, I think that it was we're important to us if we're going to do it to do it the right way. Right. You know, it's great to see you guys on stage. By the way, not only tonight, but uh, I can definitely tell an overall, we're back. I, I've seen you on the View, the Today Show. Uh, they rocked it, right? We're feeling good. And you're feeling good, man. How do you think? I don't know who who wants to take this question, but um, how do you think music's changed? since you left and came back. Uh, don't you agree music comes in cycles? Uh, we yeah. all go through that rap period, the rock period, the, 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 the quote boy band period, and you came back at a good time. Yeah, right. we're, we're definitely in, in a pop period right now. Right. You know? um, and I think that's another, another you know, variable that made us decide that now was the right time. I right. mean, you know, we're not going to come out when you know, it's a rock period. It just might not work so well for us. <laughs> um, you know, but I think, I think the fact that you, know, you were seeing success in the pop market and, and there, were, there was a resurgence of, of you know, quote-unquote boy bands, um, it made us you know, think, all right, well, you know, the market is open to it now. Right. Um, you know, but I think music's changed a lot. I mean, a lot of what we do uh, and what our focus has been, the harmonies and the vocals, that's not necessarily the focus and, and you know, what people you know, aim to be really good at anymore. Um, you know, you hear a lot more unison vocals. Uh, if there are harmonies, they're really, really buried. And that, that was a part of the growing pains for us making this record was, all right, how do we keep our sound unique to us and do what we do well and update it and make it current? Um, and that, that was the, the fun challenge of this record. And honestly, we, we were some great producers who, you know, put us in great situations on great songs and, and we're really happy with it. What do you think of the way music is overall besides being pop? Like, what do you think of the whole EDM craze? Nick, I mean, or Jeff. I think it's awesome. I'm a big fan. I, I love the I love that kind of music. You know, I, I like to sit at home, mess with music, produce music. I mean, I use Apple Logic um, <laughs> at home, which I do. I, I love. I I like the music. I, I I've you know really been into staying current with what's hot and all that stuff. And EDM's been popular overseas forever. You right. know, so now it's really kind of mainstream, and that's what, obviously, you know, makes up CHR now. And right. KTU was always on the edge and on playing dance music right. uh, back in the gap. So uh, I'm a big fan. I mean, I like it. I love it. Yeah, Z100 is more of the pop if you want everything. And if you don't listen to KTU, check it out. We play all your dance music. Shameless plug right there. All right. Um, how did the whole NKOTB Boys to Men package tour happen? Because um, it's a great bill. Whose idea was it to say, hey, let's get you guys together? Well, I think the, uh, once we had kind of decided that, that we were going to make you know, a, a reunion effort, you know, and that happened kind of last summer when we did the Mixtape Festival. Right. Uh, we did the Today Show. Thank you. Thank you. That was in Pennsylvania, right? It was. It was in Hershey. Um, but we kind of used that as the barometer. All right, if we can go out there and, and, and do this show and we have fun doing it, the fans are into it, 
why not come back and do some more? So we decided after that performance to, you know, let's go ahead and do another CD. Let's, uh, you know, let's, let's do another project and see what happens. And once that, that word kind of got out, I think that uh, NKOTB, they were looking to go back out on the road this summer. And, um, and smartly, they thought, hey, that might be a cool build. Let's put, you know, let's put ourselves in, in 90 Degrees and, and Boys to Men, who's, you know, obviously one of the most legendary groups of all time. Let's put, you know, those three on a bill and go out and, and just kill it all summer. Did you so. guys, like, sneak backstage back in the day? Yeah, we yeah. did. For Boys that's, to Men. That's actually we, we sort of modeled ourselves after Boys to Men. You know, they were a vocal harmony based group. They were signed to you know the legendary Motown label. They we looked the same. Uh, there's right. one. There's one glaring difference. We <laughs> <laughs> but but they were amazing to us, and that's how they got discovered. So we thought, okay, well, we'll get together and you know we'll go backstage and we'll get discovered and. We did, and we got signed to Motown, and you know everything else after that fell into place for us. We were really, really lucky and fortunate because Nick and I didn't want to go to the concert that day. What do you so, mean? Oh, you didn't the day what, we, we went back. The day we end up going backstage. Yeah, it was a Nick, big, big we, college football game. Yeah, we, 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 we wanted to sit around and drink beer and watch football all day, but the, the, there was another guy that encouraged us to go. And thank goodness I was we did. Also, one of the guys that helped. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I forgot about two that. guys. <laughs> two, two guys. Well, do you guys? I mean, have you had a chance to? Uh, you're not rehearsing together, though, are you? No. I mean, you're doing you're doing your own not rehearsing. Yet. Yeah. Right, okay. right now we're in the process of building our own individual shows. Okay. Then uh, a couple of days before the tour, we'll meet up, get on the set, and and run the show completely. And also, you know, figure out you know any moments where we might want to intermix, right? Um, and you know, kind of get those those moments uh, together and figure those out. But uh, yeah, right now we're just doing it separately. I heard the nickname "Dirty Dozen" thrown around. Is that Sean Stockman from Boys to Men, I think. Who came started up with that? that one. Dirty yeah, Dozen, like Sean. Sean came up with when that. you add up everybody in KOTB, Boys to Men, Nine Degrees, you're gonna have uh, twelve people in the Dirty Dozen. Yes. Do you like that? Some yeah. are dirtier than others, but <laughs> collectively we are the Dirty We're Dozen. We're not gonna name any names here. <laughs> you know, talking about back in the day here, we're you know kind of having a real reunion here. Justin, didn't you and Nick perform before this all happened? We used to sing back in high school in right. an amusement park, and then the, in college we were in a band together. But we always wanted to do. This this really was our dream forever. And we always talked about, you know, we want to do that. We should go for it. And, and uh, you know, it was a big commitment to drop out of college and to move to L.A. and to take a chance and, and to go into debt, you know. <laughs> but like, like Jess said, we were, we were so lucky. Things just really started taking off from the get-go. And, uh, you know, we had never looked back. I kind of know the answers to, to some of these questions. But what, what did – I'm going to go through everybody here. What did you do in the time you had off? All right, Drew, what did you do? Um, is there one main thing that sticks out besides sit on your ass? Well, that that was the that was what I do best, you know. So he, he know. did that when he was in the group. Wow, <laughs> much less the hiatus. <laughs> well, you did Dancing with the Stars. No. Yeah, right? um, yeah, yeah. No, I, I did. I did Dance with the Stars. Yeah. And he uh, won. Yeah, he yes. won it. He World won champion. and champion. and you hosted a bit too. Right. Yeah, I, I won season yeah. two. Hosted season. Five. Five, right, yeah. Uh, did the all-star season, did a couple Broadway shows in the middle. Right. Yes, Team Drew. So you stayed the pretty Drew busy. Crew. You stayed pretty busy. I yeah. just stayed pretty busy. Also, you know, have a couple kids now and, and right. uh, moved back to Cincinnati. Yeah, I did spam a lot, right. did rent. Um, you know, and, and uh, you know, just tried to enjoy life. Yeah. And now, Justin, you ran for mayor at one point? Yeah, I, I did a lot of different things. And, uh, one did you all know that? He I, ran for I moved back to Cincinnati, uh, my hometown, because I love it. And, uh, you know, I really wanted to get involved there. And, uh, you know, I, 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 by running for mayor, I was able to be a part of the conversation about the future of our great city. And it was a really, it was a great experience. And, and uh, it really helped lead to other things. I, I became the editor of a street paper called Street Vibes, a bi-weekly, and put out by the Homeless Coalition. And... You know, I also worked with some up-and-coming new artists and tried to help them out, and I've done a lot of different things. And he's dubbed the phrase change a -luya. So whenever <laughs> you see Justin anywhere, you got to put your fist in the air and be change like, change a -luya. change a -luya. <laughs> Now, we all know about Nick's story. Yeah, you know. Married, you have, a, what, eight, nine months? No, seven months, maybe? Uh, almost eight months, yeah. Eight, eight months old? Yeah. Not yeah. sleeping much anymore? No, he's he's a great sleeper, honestly. Oh, really? So, yeah. oh, you've been lucky. Yeah, I've been very lucky. Sleep has not been a problem. Did it change your life at all? I mean, besides the physical things, not sleeping. I mean, uh, the way 100%. you look at things. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah, I, mean, I think you know, for anyone who has kids, they'll tell you the same thing. It just it it completely changes everything in your life. It changes the way you approach your life, the decisions you make. Um, but it's uh, it's it's honestly the coolest thing that I've ever done in life. So it, it's it's been nothing but fun. Will there be any more? Yeah, are you are you talking about maybe a number? Any two? more kids? Yeah, oh, I'm sure at some point there'll be there'll be more kids. Yeah, 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 hundred uh, percent. Jeff, how about you? 
What were you? What were you doing that fine hiatus of yours? Uh, just been kicking around. No, I've always <laughs> stayed with music. You know, I uh, I uh, got into production a lot. I was married. I have a big family. I got divorced. I remarried. You know, been keeping busy with that. Did some shows in Vegas. Uh, things of that nature. Right. So did a little stripping, huh? Yeah, well, I didn't actually strip. <laughs> I got in shape for it, but I didn't strip. By the way, we're gonna no, I, uh, we're I, gonna do a Q and A, and I want the ladies to pick him apart about all that. You, hey, I'll be happy I mean, to talk about it because, believe it or not, that was I, I, that was almost as much fun as being in this group. It was so fun hosting <laughs> it, hosting it, being a part of it. It was sold out the whole time. The guys that were actually in the show were great performers. They weren't really strippers, but. It was a good experience overall. <laughs> yeah, they did strip. <laughs> New meaning for the whole package tour thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what is right, the package tour is going to go how long? Uh, we're 47 shows right now. It started out. Wait, as, wait, wait. It's going to be 47 shows. Yeah, it started out wow. as 25, uh, and because of popular these kind of good people, it's now 47. Give yourselves so, a round of applause. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. So 47 through uh, through 10 weeks. Uh, we go through the first week of August, and then uh, you know we. Fall over from exhaustion. I'm telling you. I mean, do you have a? What, 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 is there an average? Is there a routine as far as? Uh, is it every other night? Is it uh, not going to be every night? Obviously, but well, is it we have we have a couple stretches where we have five in a row. Really? Um, yeah, yeah. Which which you know vocally is is going to be you know you got to take care of yourself. You got to stay hydrated. Yeah. You got to you got to really uh, you know implement all the techniques and vocal skills you learned and, and really make those a part of the show. Um, but you know when you get out there and you have. 10, 12, 15,000 people, you know, up out of their seats cheering for you. It's, it's, it's easy to get excited about it right. and, and have fun with it. Like, you guys would never cancel a show, right? I mean, God forbid if you were sick or something. I, we I had, think we had a pretty grueling schedule for about five years straight, and I, I think we would cancel two shows. Yeah, one or two wow. shows. Two is, shows. Is all we I mean, that's it. I mean, and, and some days we were going every, every day, and some days we were doing several shows in several states in a day. I mean, right. there was one time we did something in Wisconsin, and then we flew to another one, and then the next day we had to be on uh, the Today Show or something that, like that that was filming in Florida. or It was something crazy like that. I can, I'm, these guys would remember. But, or, <laughs> I, who knows? I, I don't know. I'm getting old. So. But it, there, were, there were things of that nature that kept us uh, on our toes, and it was pretty grueling. But, again, we were lucky to have that opportunity. So. Do you have a favorite uh, besides New York? You have to say New York, but do you have a, do you have a favorite city? I mean, honestly, New York. I've said this a bunch of times. New York is my favorite city of the world. Right. Um, you Woo! know, I, it is. You know, I, I moved here when I was eighteen and, and fell in love with the city then. And um, you yeah, where's know. everybody living right now? I mean, I live in Cincinnati now. Okay. Yeah. Right. I live in Cincinnati. Justin? I'm in Cincinnati. Well, yeah, you're the mayor. You have to. Right. <laughs> I'm still uh, still in L. A. Oh, right, okay, in yeah. L. A. Do you get back to Cincinnati much? Yeah, yeah, we actually try to spend as much time there as we can because right. obviously Drew's there and the kids are there and family's there. So. Yeah. And Jeff? I live in Las Vegas still. Still yeah. doing a lot of stuff there. So. Now, on, on the tour, are you going to be busing it or plane in it? Or? We, we're bus. We love the bus. I mean, the, for us, the, the plane is no good. Right. No bueno. You got to check bags. <laughs> goes, you know, go get, get, get there two hours early. Uh, with the bus, you kind of make it your home. You have a TV in there, video games. You know, Our families are going to be with us. Oh, they uh, are going to yeah. come with oh, you. Yeah, okay, absolutely. Good. There's no open container rule when it's a bus. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Which and who drive? Who drive? You have a, you have a Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I'm a trucker. Justin does it all. I'm not doing this. <laughs> That's what he did in his hiatus. He got his CDL. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that though? That one time we were, we were on separate buses and we were no, driving I didn't down. Drive one, yeah. And and we looked over and Justin was literally driving the bus. <laughs> I, I don't think that was legal. So it don't wasn't. Tell anybody. But you know, I'm sure the statute of limitations is up <laughs> on that driving not a good infraction idea at all. <laughs> but literally, Justin just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have one of those horns, but I wish I did. Campaigning, man. Campaigning. <laughs> actually, I want to go back to the mayor thing. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, what happened? Did you... I mean, obviously you lost, right? No, I won, actually. <laughs> That's the funny thing. No, no. How, how, no. how close did you come? Well... I was running against, there was a state senator, he ended up winning, uh, the, there was the vice, in Cincinnati our, our system's a little bit different, so there were like seven people, candidates for mayor, right. and then there's a primary that nobody really votes in, and then there, two people go off to the general, so there was uh, the vice mayor, a state senator, a former council person, and, uh, and, a, and a actual council person. Wow. 
were you doing like debates and stuff like that, like yeah. on TV and everything? Yeah, or? no, it was serious. I mean, it was like a real campaign. You should have seen him. He, he like completely transformed. Did you he see was, him in action? Oh yeah. yeah, you know, you used to see him in like jeans and and, and you know gym shoes and a t-shirt then he was like always in suits you know he, no he had a campaign vehicle yeah I, I actually have a I have a what they used to call a bookmobile and it's this huge bus and we covered it and you know wrapped it and people are like books what's that <laughs> we, we, we have iPads now we <laughs> hey you know what enough of me you know I bet you guys have a ton of questions that I probably haven't hit yet and uh, the beauty of you being fans so I want to go out to the audience we have uh, some fine uh, uh -oh. Apple before employees before that we want to thank Cubby he oh, has been a big supporter of oh, ours. Thank you. Thank you. For a thank very you. long time, and we do appreciate uh, you doing this for us. My today, pleasure. Man. My pleasure. Thank you for the retweet. <laughs> oh, I, I try. Yeah, no problem. They're great on social media, right? You follow them, right? And I, we're trying, man. It's it's a process. I, you know, know, I, was, I feel yeah, like yeah, my I'm grandparents learning. calling calling up people like they used to call us up to set their VCR clock. <laughs> I'm calling <laughs> up. I'm calling up. Like, People like, how do you tweet? You know, and, and trying to figure out how to do it. Well, I'm trying to retweet, but it won't let me quote. And then I got to do this, and then the text, and then I can't figure it out. But you had a great campaign on Instagram. If you show a picture holding your CD, yes, ni the ni at 98 official, yeah, right, our, right, which our, is pretty cool. Yeah, great. we we have a really good team doing that, helping us out with that. They're great. Teachers, yeah. they're doing a good job on that. But you are hands on with all oh, your absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, we, We're just we've slow been doing learners. It nonstop. That's all. Since we got I was showing them Vine backstage. Who's yeah, on Vine? Anybody on Vine? Yeah. Yeah. I it mean, looks I, cool. I, I, I was trying. on it about We're six trying. months ago, and I got tired of it. Now I'm back, and now I think it's kicking in. You got to try Vine. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. All right, who's out in the audience? Do we have a question? Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Maria. The, the boys are yours. Hi, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Um, are you guys going to be doing your own tour after the package tour? Uh, well, that That's kind of the plan right now. We're, we're just... In the process right now, figuring out what dates those would be afterwards, um, and and you know we really just have to make sure that we don't kill each other on this first part. <laughs> um, you know, but yeah, we're all we're all hopeful that this will continue, and you know, you know we'll be able to go on another tour, and then hopefully make another record, another tour, and just continue going because you know we're uh, we're loving what we we're doing right now, and, and just having fun with it. So feels hopefully. good, right? It feels good. You're back. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. we'll be doing this when we're really old in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> in Opening Vegas, up for uh, Wayne Newton. Well, he'll be Vegas, dead yeah. now. Wayne Newton won't be dead. All right. Uh, another. Wow. Captain Morbid over here. Wait. Who do I? I got to. Well, uh, we'll go, can we, we got, go to the middle? We got, we got the mics. Oh, over we got over here. here. Yeah, I'm go sorry. Right. All right. Hi guys. Welcome back. Hey. Thank, thank you. you. What's your name, by the way? Jenny. Jenny. I want to ask, now that you're going to be touring again together, are there any oddities or quirks about each other that you're going to miss or looking, that you're going to look forward to about each other again? I, I don't think there are many that we're going to look forward to. <laughs> I think there are a bunch that we hope we lost along the way. But no, I mean, uh, we all have our quirks. The, the interesting thing of being, being part of something like this is you live together and you work together nonstop. So by now, hopefully, we know... Uh, you know what makes everybody happy, what makes everybody annoyed, and then you know we sort of know how to how to react to each other's behavior and stuff like that. Like being That's married, really. Person. I mean, it really is. <laughs> it's 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 more than being married because you can actually, when you're married, you can get away from your wife when you go to work. <laughs> but we're together. You, you can. Know, we're, we're, oh well, you can't. Right. But right. when you're together and Justin's driving the bus, I mean, you're right. screwed pretty yeah, much. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, we, we took our lumps along the way, you know. You, somebody blows their nose and the tissue ends up on the couch, and you're like, that's nasty. And, right. you, and you, you bring it up and be like, don't do that anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. And then you move on. And that'd be me, and I don't do it anymore. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, you nip those things in the bud along the way, and, you know, you try and just be considerate of each other and learn. And I, after... However many years it's been since. 1995. But you really are. I mean, you're like you're like a family. I right. mean, we're like yeah. we're like brothers, and 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 you kind of love each other like brothers, and then you get annoyed sometimes, like you do with your brother. Right. <clears throat> we spend a lot of time joking. Saying. Yeah. I mean, if it was if it was perfect all the time, it'd be a little a little scary. It's impossible yeah. to be. It's that's just not human. Uh, you know, that's not human element. It's not how it works. Right. You know. So. What's your name? Hi, um, I'm also Jenny. Ooh, Jenny. Stole my thunder. Hello, but, Jenny. Uh, hi. Um, so I have a question. I'm really out of the loop, but I'm very curious uh, about what you did in Vegas. Finally. Well, I, I, <laughs> oh, Jeff hey, Show. Hey, she's right there. I did a lot of this. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I, I hosted the Chippendales Las Vegas show. And so uh, when I originally got asked to do it, I had been 
getting asked to do it for years because we were known as the group that the boy band that actually had muscles and all that stuff. But so I had been asked. I don't to know do what it, happened uh, to them, but we, <laughs> we used to. <laughs> right. So since then we've we've now covered ourselves up. But uh, you know what happened was I was asked to do it. I went and checked out. The, I was like, no way, no way. And they're like, look, it's a Vegas show. It's a real show. It's not a bunch of strippers like grinding on girls and all that stuff. So I went to see it and it was a well-produced show. It was in a $10 million theater, a multi-million dollar production. And I fell in love with it. They, it was basically, those guys are like a boy band on steroids up there. And all I did was host. I sang. I sang some of our songs. I thought I we were the boy band songs. on steroids. <laughs> well, so again, that's that obviously stopped. But, uh, you, know, no, we, you know, it was a fun time for me. It was sold out the whole time. It broke some box office records. And yeah, I was very, very proud of it. I mean, a, a lot of people are like, oh, he turned into a stripper. No, that was the spin they put on it to get a ton of press and get people there. But it actually was a great, great experience experience for me. I had a lot of fun. What it did for me was I had always been accustomed to being with these guys nonstop. So I had the comfort of being on stage with them. So if I'd mess up, not everybody would be looking at me in my mind. They, they, there were other people they were focused on. And what that did was enhance my ability to perform in front of crowds and stuff like that. So, But you did like strip though. No, I, there's a part a in the bit. show. There's a part in the show where they made me like rip my shirt off and throw it into the crowd, and right? All that and then stuff. rip his pants off, and, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd start doing the shake. And <laughs> obviously, moves like that would not make the show. You know nah. what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, don't sell yourself short. I'm sure you would do well. Thanks, uh, Kobe. Wait, we have a uh, front row here. I wanted. To, I'm like so nervous. This is ridiculous. <laughs> a. I have two questions. One, will you sing at my wedding? Just kidding. <laughs> and I'm not actually getting married, but <laughs> if that ever happens. It sounded so good. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I love that. No, that yeah. was actually yeah. saying about taking the gig. I, mean, so. I will He'll call you. He'll strip at the bachelorette yeah, party. Yeah, bachelorette party. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a package I'll, I'll deal. I'll drive the bus to uh, all the ladies. And I love how you guys think. No, but I wanted to know if there's another video coming out for any of the other songs on the album. Uh, well, that, that's, a good, that's a good question. Um, Kind of what we're doing is we're we're taking the the advice of our management because honestly it's been a long time since we made videos and and the the whole culture has changed obviously we did because of you I do hardest thing una noche they were like big big productions um, and very very expensive um, you know so but the whole culture with videos has changed um, you know so it, it's become this process where we're f finding out we have to make more more smaller videos um, so yeah there are going to be more videos coming out. Um, to which songs and all that we're still kind of figuring out. Um, you know, microphone, obviously the the lyric video for that is out. Um, it's already almost like a half a million, three quarter of a million it's views. Growing, it's only been out for fast. a couple of days. Yeah, it's doing really growing well. Fast. So we appreciate that too. Yeah. By There's the way, can, can I put in a request? I'm not kidding. Uh, maybe you're working on it, but uh, you know, the Christmas format in radio has become so huge. Stations go all Christmas now for like, you know, in Halloween, they change format now. But it's a big, big format. And this gift, of course, it was a great song. We, pl we, we play it every Christmas. Would you ever do another holiday album? We've, we've talked yeah. about it. I mean, we're leaving all possibilities on the table. And I, let's just say there's going to be a lot of surprises, I think, for you all and some for us. Right, but I think cool. we'd all agree that the holiday, our Christmas record, was probably the, our, our favorite record as a group that we've ever, ever done. So yeah. we'd love to do another one. Yeah. Uh, one more question. Hi guys, welcome back. Thank My name you. Is Good Maddie. to see you. And we see a lot of familiar faces. Yeah, from sure. They've been with us for, for sure. years, so we, we, we're, th we're thankful you're here. So I got one so. for you guys. Um, what was the craziest thing a fan has ever done to you guys in the previous years? Or done to us? Yes. <laughs> That's a really <laughs> tough Turn the question to answer. Turn the lights down. <laughs> one word changes they're, everything. They're recording to, this for a podcast. To us. Um, <laughs> no, I, I think. Um, <laughs> What's the best way to say this? Just, just imagine, you know, what you might do to get someone's attention. Just like Mardi Gras, New Orleans. Yeah, maybe Bee. something on those lines. <laughs> we, we had people sneak on a, our bus at times. Yeah. In, and, and we had people sneak in on carts, um, in, in room, room service carts. And we had bus drivers that, that, that would let the people Brady on bunch, our bus. By the way, they did What's the Brady, that? yeah, the Brady bunch. I yeah, think did that. Yeah, they, they, when they and, tried and, to meet and uh, girls did it too. Where I'm like, yeah. eating eggs, and then some girl pops out. Like what? Up? <laughs> so yeah, it's like an Austin Powers movie. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Let, let me just say that we have the best fans in the world. You do nine. absolutely. Yeah. So we've we've seen a lot of things, and they've done some crazy things, and I'm sure the best is yet to come. Right. 
Well, we're very happy you're back. 2.0, you might already have it, but for those listening on the podcast, watching, by 2.0, 98 Degrees is back. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. 